Good morning everybody and happy Saturday. Today we're going to be making um, Tink's Vegetarian Chili. This is a new um, version of my vegetarian chili and I call this zombie chili because I put some really good spice in here. Now um, you can totally leave out the hot sauce. It's up to you. I just like everything spicier. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is chop up two beautiful onions, okay? Today is very cold once again and uh, all of my plants started to bud, started to come up from those 70 something degree days that we had and now it's going back down to like four tonight so I don't know. I hope that it doesn't totally destroy the spring flowers because that's really really sad really sad. I even have some bushes budding, you know, like 75, 72. We had several days like that, and that's really confusing the plants. So, Next, you want to drain and rinse one can of black beans, one can of garbanzo beans, and one can of dark red kidney beans. Okay, so you're going to drain those and rinse them good and let them dry a little bit before you pop them in the pot. All right, into our beautiful cast iron duchy. I'm going to put two tablespoons of olive oil. Let that heat up a little bit. And then we're going to add a spoon here. All right, then we're going to, into that oil, we're going to put our beautiful onions that we just chopped right in. And we're going to brown the, you know, soften these, get these nice and soft. Since it is cold out, it is the perfect day for a really nice pot of hot and spicy chili. Who doesn't love chili on a cold day, right? Onions are getting soft and they smell amazing. One chopped bell pepper, any color, red, green, yellow, whatever kind you want. Put the bell pepper right in there. Continue. To this, you want to add one and a half teaspoons of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and two tablespoons of chili powder. Put that right in. Mm. 
Mm. Continue cooking those uh, onions and peppers down nicely. And I'll show you what to add next. All right, guys. Now what we put in here was our um, what I put into the onions, peppers, and spice mixture was one six ounce can of tomato paste and I stirred that in good. Then I added a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, okay, crushed tomatoes, and I added an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. Then I added one cup of corn and our rinsed and drained beans, one can of garbanzos, one can of black beans, and one can of dark red kidney beans. I'm going to mix that up really, really well. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? It's nice and thick the way I like it. I don't like watery chili. Not at all. Chili is a stew. It's not a soup. Okay. Look at that beauty. All right. Now, after everything is in there, I'm going to put a couple of drops of cayenne cadaver. This is my zombie sauce. Cayenne cadaver hot sauce. Very fun. <laughs> Put a couple of splashes of that. And then, of course, one of my very, very favorites, the ghost chilies. These are whole ghost chilies that in a grinder and I love this this is so great and of course again it says it doesn't get much hotter so I'm going to turn some ghost chilies into that that's enough <laughs> and mix it up once again look at that oh so beautiful and so nice and thick so remember after the uh, onions and peppers and the first spices that we put in are cooked down, you want to stir in one uh, six ounce can of tomato paste and stir that in really good and cook it for a couple minutes. Then you pour in your 28 ounce can of tomato, uh, crushed tomatoes, your eight ounce can of tomato sauce, your cup of corn, and your three types of beans, okay? Garbanzo, black, and red kidney beans. Now, I add my hot stuff at the end. You can leave that step out completely, or you can put any kind of uh, hot sauce that you like in it. Louisiana hot sauce, or um, Tabasco, whatever you like, whatever you have. All right? So that is now ready to simmer. I'm going to get my getchy lid. I'm going to cover it and we're going to simmer that for about an hour and uh, all the spices will merge. The hot, so uh, the hot stuff will really cook in, infiltrate the dish. It'll be really yummy. Okay guys. One more thing I'm going to add to this as it's simmering is one tablespoon of stevia, okay? Stevia is a no-calorie sugar, and uh, you can use one tablespoon of regular sugar also. Just give it a little bit of sweet hot, you know what I mean? Just beautiful. So that, it smells really good when I lift the lid. So this is going to continue to simmer, like I said, for about an hour, and uh, then it will be ready. And of course, your leftover chili, put it in containers, and eat off it all week. Beautiful. 
Okay. Be back later. All right, while our chili cooks, I figured I'd show you what I found in the thrift store last night. Uh, I stopped there quickly after work. Uh, I had to go to the food store, which is right next door anyway. Um, I found this great little spice rack, which I love. I love the wide sides like that, and it fits these beautiful little McCormick jars perfectly. Put the taller things on top. And above the spice rack in my kitchen is, of course, uh, an original print from my cookbook. It's a piece of work I did for the cover of my cookbook. So there she is. That's Chef Sufu. And she's fabulous. <laughs> she belongs in every kitchen. Alright, uh, also I found this beautiful, huge uh, sizzle plate for, uh, for a big shared steak. It has the wooden base. Any kind of big sizzling meat that you want to, that it's, a, it's so big it's not for one it's a sharing plate so if you have a huge thick steak sizzling on there that you're going to cut and share uh, or a roast or anything any big hunk of meat <laughs> you can sizzle it on there and uh, you have your base your wooden base this is really beautiful I also found a, a very heavy duty authentic Italian deep dish pizza pan. So that was fun. This is enormous too. It's really nice. So uh, that was my thrift scores from last night. It was all kitchen related as you can see. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a while. zombie for the zombie chili <laughs> okay um, I forgot to tell you I got my Knox uh, auction 61 catalog yay can't wait cannot wait to place my bids on that one always exciting to get that we're going to serve our chili in my awesome danger bowls isn't that perfect for chili oh my goodness how fun and we're gonna top it with Fat-free cheddar cheese. Yummy. And there is our chili, our vegetarian zombie chili with ghost peppers. Yummy. Having it with a Fresh as Hell's uh, Sam Adams seasonal brewed with orange blossom. Yummy. Very, very nice. So, that's it. I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Saturday. I will talk to you all later because i got something really exciting on the way. And I just talked to the mailman and he's got it in his truck. So, I'm going to have lunch and I'll be back with you later. I love you all. Hope you try the chili. Talk to you later.